Does he ring a bell to you? What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm back uh, with a fancy shirt and a new video. So today we're gonna look at uh, one of these things here. We're going to have an in-depth view on how you guys can create uh, one of these, one of these um, Cinemorph um, adapter filters directly at home and therefore have uh, an anamorphic uh, effect uh, without actually using any anamorphic lenses. At the end of the video I will also show you some footage that I filmed uh, with and without uh, this filter um, so that you can compare the differences and see if uh, this is uh, an option you want to go for or not. And in order to make uh, things even easier for you I will provide a free download in the comments below in order to um, speed up everything for you. And uh, as always, very important, if you like uh, this content, uh, please uh, consider clicking the subscribe button and hitting the bell, or please also like the video. And uh, this will help uh, basically for um, helping me in going forward with this kind of videos. Now let's dive in. Well, let's start with, uh, first of all, some background information. What's so special about um, anamorphic lenses? I think everybody can uh, recognize that because uh, they have uh, yeah, two main characteristics. The first one you get this amazing and beautiful oval bouquet, uh, very different from the usual rounded one. Uh, second thing is that uh, you get this really cinematic uh, lens flare, uh, horizontal, with horizontal lines. But these lenses are honestly extremely expensive. So you can look, for example, at this uh, magic uh, adapter here. Or maybe look also at the usual cinematic uh, lenses here. Very expensive. So that's why this video comes into play. With a simple filter like this one that you attach uh, in front of your lens, the usual lens, you can get uh, kind of uh, fake and recreate the cinematic look of these expensive uh, lenses. So basically you get this uh, oval bokeh I was talking about earlier, you get also the horizontal lens flare, but obviously since uh, we don't have any optics here, you will miss the widescreen, therefore the image won't be squeezed into the um, 2 or 1.33 times factor. In order to recreate this widescreen aspect uh, you will be forced to crop uh, the top and the bottom of your content. And now to the main question everybody from you might have. So how to recreate one of these at home and uh, almost for free? I know um, about three methods that we can use, uh, all of them mostly free. I went for a 3D printed um, method, but I know about another two methods that are really um, all mostly inexpensive, but behind uh, the logic behind basically is mostly the same. So let's try with this uh, uh, first method. I will explain you how to do it, and at the end of the video I will also explain you about the other two. Come here, let's try. Let's go through the 3D printed method. I've created a 3D model that I provide for you uh, for free for the load in the description below. You can either print it if you have a 3D printer or maybe you can simply go in any 3D print shop and they will do it for you just for 5 or 8 bucks. Uh, I had these two printed for less than uh, 10 bucks. This is how the final product will look like more or less. So as you can see all assembled. This is printed in uh, resin but uh, PLA should also be fine. So what else do you need apart from the 3D file and this printed? You will need uh, some uh, scissors obviously, a fishing line or a similar uh, filament. As you can see here I've been using the 0.20 millimeters diameter one. 
and an electrical tape. Now we simply need to cut the fishing line and attach it to the filter with the electrical tape. And once it's done, it's ready. So let's measure it more or less. Cut a couple of pieces of tape. Try to align the fishing line with uh, this line here. If the tape goes on the edge of the filter, no worries, it's fine. Maybe it's even better for uh, better attach it to the lens. Now the other side. Okay, and it's done. Now simply remember to place this filter vertically on your lens, like so. And uh, I've been using this without any problems on this lens, the Helios. It's really great. It, and also it doesn't fall so easy. You can also put it down if you like it to be more secure you can uh, put some additional tape so that it will stay securely fixed on the lens now let's get out and uh, let's do some tests So as you saw in this comparison, uh, without uh, the filter you get around the usual rounded uh, bokeh, while with the filter you have this beautiful oval uh, bokeh, plus without the filter you don't get the beautiful horizontal uh, cinematic uh, flares. You can also decide to paint the fishing line, um, I suggest probably with blue in order to get more or less the same uh, um, effect that you have on uh, most movies, but you can also decide on a different color. If you leave it uh, as it is, uh, it will be transparent and so it will simply take uh, the color of uh, the light source. As I mentioned earlier, there are other two ways of creating this uh, filter. Uh, the first one is uh, basically by using a cardboard. Uh, you simply have to measure the diameter of your lens, then uh, simply cut a circle, circle um, paint everything with um, black, with um, a pen or whatever, cut an ellipse inside the circle. Uh, you can try different shapes and see which is the one that works the best for you. Uh, once this is done, uh, simply attach the uh, fishing line uh, to, uh, as I showed basically in uh, my tutorial. And the last method is to obtain an unused um, screwing filter, like for example a clear filter or a UV filter, where with the help of a, of a cutter you just need to um, uh, do some lines uh, in the... In 
the middle section of uh, this glass and after that you need to create uh, recreate the ellipse so basically you can do that by using some uh, uh, tape some uh, electrical tape and um, yeah recreate the shape of uh, the ellipse as we saw in uh, my method basically so that's all for today uh, i leave in the description below the three links for the 3d printed files uh, you have three dimensions the 50 millimeters 55 and 50, 58 millimeters but be careful i only tested the 50 uh, millimeters one um, since i have an uh, helios uh, 44m yeah let me know if it works for you guys i have to say i'm quite pleased with mine works like the, like a charm and uh, one final recommendation i suggest not to be using lenses wider than uh, 50 millimeters because you might be getting some big netting in the borders so that's all for today please uh, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you like this content and uh, remember to follow me on um, twitter and uh, facebook let me know in the comments if you tried uh, this filter and maybe if you have some sample images or videos you want to share and i'm open for your questions see you in the next one